Wow. Look how shiny and gold it is up there. It's like, just like Golden Dome Cave. <laughs> a little harder. A little harder is it? Yeah. Golden Dome Cave isn't particularly easy either. To get back to the good part, you gotta crawl a bit, but not like this. I think they have Golden Dome rated as medium. I don't remember. Uh, wow, there's some serious puddles here. I'm gonna have to be careful so I don't get my stuff all soaking wet. Pretty much anything is he's harder even if, if you're soaking wet. Except maybe swimming, of course. I've never tried swimming in a dry suit. Couldn't tell you if that makes it easier or harder. No difference. Okay. Well, as you can see, I made it to a room a little bit bigger. I'm pretty sure I was through here once already this year. But Sometimes these cave videos are so slow, I'm almost wondering if I should just shoot a time lapse. But what's ironic, my video, this camera, it's shooting video 5K resolution. It won't let me do a time lapse at 5K. It only lets me do a time lapse at 4K. So that's one of many excuses for me to shoot a regular video. Guess I could always speed it up later. Then you wouldn't get to listen to my beautiful voice. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> This backpack isn't the one I normally use for caving. I have a smaller one. It's normally I go uh, with just three or four flashlights into a cave because I know it's, I'm only gonna be in there a certain amount of time. But this one, I might be in here a while. Very difficult cave. So I'm gonna be, uh, I brought seven flashlights to be sure. <clears throat> More weight, more exercise. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be tired tonight. The question is, will I sleep good, or will I be too sore to sleep? <laughs> I once walked 20 miles in one day. Yeah, after that, that night I did not sleep very well at all. Okay, I'm just adjusting my knee pad real quick. Oh. 
Wow. And just think, I chose this part because it's easier than the east tube. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Unfortunately, about the only way to get my backpack through here is to roll it. If I try sliding on it, it'll catch on the rocks. Then it'll uh, damage the rocks and get torn up. Obviously, I got enough stuff in my backpack. I can't have my backpack falling apart. It'd be very awkward trying to carry out all that stuff without my backpack in one piece. Oh, what the heck, my flashlight's on strike. Hang on a second. There we go. All this piece of junk. <clears throat> the way these flashlights work, the batteries, they're like barely touching each other. When the batteries get worn out, they don't touch very well. So the flashlights glitch out. It's technically the battery's fault, but well, they need to come up with a better standard for the batteries. But Become a battery scientist. Come up with a better battery. I'm not even talking about the chemistry inside. I'm talking about the holder, the, the container, the cylinder shape. That's what's getting messed up. See, it has to be airtight. Make sure it can't leak or explode. But since it doesn't have any room to expand, when it expands, it deforms. Basically, they need to keep the batteries from overheating. Anyway. That's the flashlight's job. Flashlight's supposed to keep the battery from overheating. It doesn't have a built-in thermometer. It just sort of does its own thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> 